you are about to have a view into the artistic process of creating From Wilderness, a new Choral Arts Initiative commission written by one of our own, Jeffrey Derris. We were due to premiere this amazing work on March 22nd, but the global pandemic has temporarily postponed our plans. But we won't let the virus stop us from sharing our music with you. What you will see now are excerpts from the last rehearsal we had together before we were all called to distance ourselves to stay safe. You will also hear from our artistic team as they describe what it has been like to bring this powerful new work to life. In this difficult time, we remain dedicated to our mission to work with composers and our community to illuminate new choral music and to inspire musical creativity. We will perform and record from Wilderness as soon as we are all able to be together again safely. If you would like to help us bring this magical new work to life, please consider making a gift to Choral Arts Initiative at choralartsinitiative.org. Now, we take you behind the notes of From Wilderness. I'm Jordan Cuspa. I am Executive and Development Associate for Coral Arts Initiative. Today we're starting a new series of video chats amongst uh, our artists here to talk about some of the music that we've made together in the past and also what we have uh, looking forward to the future. So we wanted to be able to share our work with you while we're not able to sing for you in person. So with me today I have our Artistic Director Brandon Elliott our soprano section leader, Lorraine Joy Welling, and our tenor section leader, Jeffrey Darris, who is also sort of our special honored guest for today's conversation because he is the composer of From Wilderness, which is a massive concert length long work that he has composed uh, that Choral Arts Initiative will be premiering, we very much hope, in June. So that is our, our big project. That is what is on the horizon for us, and we thought, you know, today is March 22nd. We were going to be giving the premiere of that uh, piece today. Uh, but in lieu of doing that, we have this conversation where we're going to talk about some of the influences on that piece, what that piece means to all of us here in the organization, and hear from Jeffrey about what it was like writing this piece and creating it. Uh, and we're going to pair that with some footage that we took at our last rehearsal before all of the government restrictions on, on meeting together came up. We had one last rehearsal where we thought, you know, 
we should really get what we've done on film. So we took video from that rehearsal so we can share some of this amazing piece with you all. When, when we... This is a huge piece and it means so much, but could you in maybe a few sentences try to describe what it's all about? Yeah, um, when Brandon first approached me about this commission, uh, concert length of work, I was overjoyed and a little overwhelmed because I've never written anything past maybe eight minutes. And so this concert length work was something that I knew I needed to find the right topic or the right story and that I wanted to share. And we mulled over so many ideas that were awesome ideas, but just didn't feel authentic to myself. And so um, the piece is really about wellness and taking care of yourself, going on a journey uh, through nature, which I've had many profound moments in nature with my family or my, by myself and traveling up the coast, um, visiting many different locations. And I was trying to find a tie that would kind of weave all those experiences together. And I just kind of stumbled across the Pacific Crest Trail. And I've heard about it, you know, in the past or friends who have done it or at legs of it. And um, I just started doing more research about it. And I was like, wow, this is something that I think can really connect to an audience and to um, a listener in many ways. And so <clears throat> the whole work is um, based along the Pacific Crest Trail from you know, Southern California all the way up to the top of Washington. There's five major movements. There's five major sections of the trail. Um, there's micro movements within those major movements um, that are the major stops of each section. And there's this sense of wellness that you get when you come out of the trail. So I wanted to capture that within the work. I wanted the listener to be able to have an opportunity to listen to some beautiful music, but also have an experience and have some kind of meditative, transformative listening experience. So um, it's, it's all about nature and wellness and discovering yourself, your, your self again. And also, um, yeah, just allowing yourself to go on a journey and beginning that journey.
I'm a big believer that a piece is really not fully composed. The composer brings a score, but the performers are creating this, the actual sound, right? And then the third part of that is an audience listens to it. And the interpretation that happens in every listener's mind and in their hearts is actually just as much a part of the con uh, a composition as anything else. So after hearing that, I just wanted to ask everybody if they could share just a little bit of their thoughts and feelings, because you all are both the performers and in some sense, the very first audience for this piece. So what, what do you feel when you hear this music? Maybe, maybe Lorraine, maybe you could, could start with something. Uh, yeah, you know, first of all, the first rehearsal that we had with this piece was extraordinary. We had an all day Saturday retreat and we sat in a circle performing the, uh, reading through the music. And as it unfolded, we all were just looking at each other in amazement really at how beautiful the, the music was, how wonderful it felt to sing it. It was almost an out of body experience, how it, it, it was just incredible. It was a real shared community experience too. We literally just kept looking around at, at each other going, wow, because we were singing through the piece, even though we were sight singing it, we were singing through it as if we had already been living with the piece for a long time. And it just, it, it, maybe it's because it was a piece by one of our own, by Jeffrey Darris, that, uh, that made it feel so natural to sing. I We hope you've enjoyed this sneak preview of From Wilderness, taking a look at what it has been like to create this wonderful new work. 
we do remain committed to sharing our work with you and premiering and recording from Wilderness as soon as we're able. Again, if you would like to support the creation of new choral music and particularly the recording of From Wilderness so that it can be shared with as many people in the world as possible, we ask that you consider making a donation to Choral Arts Initiative at choralartsinitiative.org. Stay tuned for more episodes of Behind the Notes. We will be featuring several more episodes with the artistic team for From Wilderness. And soon after that, we will premiere new episodes with other composers and other works. Thank you, and be well.